Right. So this is the screen that you'll be presented with when you first turn on your BWV. The first menu is to turn on the flame. We'll discount that for the moment and have a look at the other items. Menu 2 is for maintenance. Uh, it gives you the option to run the compressor if you think you've got a problem with the compressor. Number 2, show info, gives you the time the machine has been running, the information about the serial number, and the versions of the software and hardware. Reset memory and calibration, item number 3, will simply reset all of the calibration options within the machine. So we'll stop from there and go back to the main menu and turn on the flame. The flame is lit and I'll simply have a look in the little window at the side just to make sure that it's nice and even as I would like to see it. It now presents you with another menu. The first one is read iron levels which is where you will be doing most of your work in taking readings. We'll forget that one for the moment and go into number two, calibrate options, because this, this is where you will set the machine. The first menu item is to calibrate armor. And if we go in there, we can see that the screen presents us with each of the individual ions and tells us what calibration we've already got in the machine. Going back from there, we can go into view calibration. If I select the first item, sodium, that will show me the calibration points for sodium. So it shows me the level of the blank calibration, the level of the 10 ppm calibration, and also if I scroll down, the level of the 100 ppm calibration. If I press accept, that will take me through calibration of the other ions, or if I press stop, it will take me back to the main menu. Number three will do a calibration reset, and you can reset the calibration on a single iron, or you can do, do them all at once, which I'm going to do now. Number four gives you the ability to adjust the flame height. You can do it on any of the irons simply by pressing the button associated with that iron and you can adjust the fuel valve to set the level of the flame specific to the measurement that you want to take. I will now go in and calibrate the machine so we can see what readings these chemicals will give us later. So I'm going to, going to calibrate iron and I'm going to select sodium as the first iron. This gives me the opportunity to choose either a single point calibration or a multi-point calibration. I want to do a multi-point calibration with two points of calibration in addition to the blank reading. It's now asking me to press blank so it can take a reading of the DI blank fluid, which I will do. Whilst that is preparing, I can put here the samples that I'm going to use for calibrating sodium. It is now flushing the chamber, making sure it's nice and clean before it actually takes its reading. There are two icons here which tell you what the reading level is like, and I'll come back to those in a minute once we put a sample in the machine. That has now taken its reading for the blank and asking me to enter the concentration of the chemical I'm going to be used. And the first one is 10 ppm. 